for mothers and fathers and dead niggas For non-conformists, one hit of quitters For Tyson types and shade figures Let's get it together, come on, let's make it Gotta make it, to make it, to make it, to make it, to make something happen, to make something happen, to make something happen, let's make, make something, something happen. happen. Word the fight for gonna bring it to the overlord. Drake and Cisco chilling with the gold microphone cords, and we grip our balls every time we stuntin' on tour. Cause we never bore responding to the ready crowds roar, and promoters try to hit us with the art of war. We about what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to the iTunes report. My name is Alba Ani. Hope all is well with you. So today's voiceover commentary is about my thoughts on the Q-tip situation with him ranting and just going, going in on the Grammys. Just going in. We should have been nominated. Um, What happened? Yo, ninth, what happened? Let me tell you guys something. For some of you guys who may not know, well, you may know, I am a tribe baby. Like, seriously. Like, it is like tribe called Quest can do no harm in my eyes. That is the best legendary hip hop group of all time. One of the best. They have impacted the world including myself, on so many levels. And what's so crazy about it is when I was just looking at the old release dates of Tribe, yo, my birthday is September 24th. My favorite album is Low End Theory. And if you look at the release date, it's September 24th. So it is not a game. So I do this video to let you guys know that I was on social media and then I saw like like four or five videos. This is a few days ago about um, Q-tip ranting and raving and all of that. And to me, and this is my personal opinion, it was like a catch-22. One part, I was feeling for Q-tip because I was like... Dad, you know that I felt like that Tribe Called Quest album should have got nominated for a Grammy. This is just my personal opinion. Phenomenal album, the best way to um close that chapter of you know in regards to releasing music like an album. Oh my goodness. It just came at a perfect time. Packaging was dope. Music was tight. Oh my goodness. Recipes to Fife. I am still Mr. Fife. That is just unbelievable. Unbelievable to me. Excuse me. That he is no longer with us. But his legacy lives on. And I'm just so happy that him and Q-Tip. Just worked it out where they could communicate. That's what it's all about. Just communicate and work it out and actually come out with a Tribe Called Quest album. A classic to me. I consider it this last album to be a classic Tribe Called Quest album. It was it's, it was great. A lot of good vibes, good energy. I was here for it. Um, I will tell you. Somebody asked me, yo, you know, Tribal Quest going to come out with an album? I, I never thought they would. But I'm happy by the grace of God they did. So, I feel on that part for Q-Tip that um, he's hurt about not getting a nomination. Because I really do feel that even regardless if I was uh, not a tribe, a, a admirer, I still feel, just, just, you gotta look at it from another standpoint, great promotions, great video, everything, the album should have gotten nominated, but yo, this is what the Grammys do, this is what the Grammys do, this is how they do, I don't even know who's on their committee, they probably, oh, they probably even know who Tribe Called Quest is, whoever's on the committee. Because it's like, how do you miss that? 
On another note, on the other side of it, of the Catch-22, I'm looking at Q-Tip like, Q-Tip, um, you know, he was ranting and he was hurting and I felt bad for him. However, he was shouting out Ninth. I don't know if Ninth had, you know, gave him some insights about maybe he would be nominated if they came and performed. Last year, I don't know. It's a lot of politics. You know, it's always politics with artists and stuff. And then there's always politics with the Grammys. So you just never know. And I felt like the way Q-Tip was explaining the situation that looked like he was going to be offered a nomination or something. And I don't know. However, I'm like, Q-Tip... You have been in the game for over 20 years in the music business. More than Ninth Wonder. Producer Ninth Wonder from um, North Carolina, if you didn't know who Ninth is. Um, yeah, that's what I'm looking at Q-Tip. Like, you've been in the game, so you should know how it gets down. You know what I'm saying? You talk about how record label people were shady. You talk about people in the business shady. All that you should know by now. The Grammys don't care. It's all politics to a certain extent. Come on, this is gonna be real about that. You know how many classic hip hop albums have been snubbed by the Grammys? The Grammys didn't even acknowledge in the beginning that hip hop was uh here to stay until it, until it started making buku tons of money like this is what the Grammys do they play out artists <laughs> straight up they play out the top and this is just how I felt my personal opinion I feel like they play out a lot of the talented artists and then the, some not all Lately, it's been some, a majority, that don't really got it. And they just be giving them awards left and right and all that. And I'm like, oh, look. This is what the Grammys do. So, I feel like Grammy and no Grammy tribe called Quest has impacted the world beyond measures, beyond a Grammy. Tribe don't need no Grammy. They are the Grammy. <laughs> they are the award. I'm on a World War Tour. Yeah, come on. So, like, it's all in the music. So, Q-Tip. Nah, yo. You are better than that. It, it makes no sense. This is what they do. To me, it's not changing. People get nominated. For however they get nominated. Some people get nominated and actually have talent. Like my girl SZA. That makes sense. Um, But then sometimes with the Grammys, you know, they are hit and miss. And this is what we have to think of. And I will tell you guys, if you're a true hip-hop head like myself, and just a true advocate of really good music, you don't need no Grammy um, to validate an artist. Because there's tons of artists out here that have not won a Grammy. Straight up. <sighs> Rest in peace to Fife. I'm still sad that he has transitioned. But he his legacy is still here with us. And I will tell you, it's so ironic. Tribe Core Quest is so insightful and just powerful that I remember Fife saying this verse on a award tour. I never let a statue tell me how nice I am. This is what he said years ago. I never let a statue 
tell me how nice I am. That is the answer for years later, which is now. You see how powerful that is? Q-Tip, if you listening to this, understand that. You guys are powerful. You don't need no damn Grammy to let the whole world know how great you guys are. You guys are already great. You guys are legends. Legends who are, and yeah, who are, who have, all that paved the way for so many other groups. So, this is how I fell on it. I'm like, Q-Tip, yo, we need our own award show. We need an official own award show. That's not watered down with real hip-hop music, um, you know, as the platform. And it's going to give out phenomenal, prestigious awards to our own people. Grammys be playing artists out all day. (laughs) Oh, man. (sighs) Guys, remember, it's all... Grammys don't validate the artist you are, your talent, who you are, what you project to the world. That that's that's it. The music speaks for itself. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Was Q Tip wrong? How do you feel about that? Why do you think uh, he threw out knife names out of that? In regards to that rant, you know, let me know your thoughts. This is just my thoughts from a woman's perspective on how I feel about the whole situation. Tribe Forever is legends, and they they, they are the awards. <laughs> That's how I feel. Like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel. I would like to take the time out and say thank you. To everyone who has subscribed so far, I really appreciate you all. I know that might sound cliche, but it's really um, coming from my heart because you don't have to take the time out to press that subscribe button or watch or listen to any of my videos. So I appreciate that. Thank you for continuing to support me. Also, I welcome my new subscribers. You are welcome. This is my world um, on my channel. I create, I film, I come up with ideas. I'm just one person that does it all, you know? So, other than that, I will see you guys on the next video. Happy holidays and much love to you all. This is Ava Ani, and remember... Tribe Call Quest doesn't need to be validated by anyone. Peace.